Hey, welcome to Honest Reviews. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Instax Mini Link, which is a instant film printer for your smartphone. Okay, so this is the Mini Link, the latest in Fujifilm's line of instant film printers. So these are not instant film cameras, they can't take any photos. What they can do is take a photo from your phone that you've taken on your phone or have on your phone, you send it to the printer and it prints that out on the Instax instant film. So this is less about the sort of experience of shooting instant film and more just a really easy way to print out your photos. You get that fun of watching it develop and uh, yeah, it's just kind of a fun way to print your photos. The Instax Mini Link comes in three different colors. We have this one here, which is ash white. Um, it's kind of this like grayish, bluish white color that you see here, just slightly off white. And then there's a pink one and a blue one. So there's not a ton of options right now, uh, but they all look really nice. The design is, you know, pretty simple, very simple. There's really just this one button here. Uh, up here is where the film comes out. So you can see that right there. We're gonna go through a demo of loading and printing with this coming up. So stay tuned over here. This is charging. So it comes with a USB cable to charge with. It doesn't have a wall adapter or anything. So you're either going to be plugging this into like a laptop or you'll need a wall adapter uh, to plug this in and charge it. Nothing on the bottom and on the back here, this is where you load the film and that is it. Just that one button to turn it on. So design wise, super, super, super simple, um, but nice. It's kind of got this textured design to it. It's all plastic, so it's pretty lightweight, but you know, Instax things are usually well designed, uh, pretty durable, so I don't think it's winning any design awards for me, but I think it looks nice. Now, in terms of the price, it's kind of a range right now, depending on where you buy it. On amazon.com, you're looking at about $120 US. Uh, there are some that are in bundles with film, with um, cases for this, that kind of thing. And then I've seen it on B&H as low as $90 US right now on sale. It really depends on what color you're getting. And it seems like stock might be kind of hard to find right now. I just bought this at my local Best Buy, walked in, bought it, that kind of thing. So, you know, that's one thing about these products from Instax is that the, the price can range depending on the color and that kind of thing, but you're looking somewhere around 90 to $120 US. Now that is not cheap. You can buy an Instax mini camera for much cheaper than that. But the, the bonus of this thing is that you get to choose what you print. You're not gonna waste any film by like accidentally taking a shot that doesn't turn out at all. With the app that you use with this, you can like crop your photos, you can do all sorts of wild stuff. And we're gonna get into that app in a minute with just a few features first. The first is that this is a Bluetooth printer. So previously the Instax printer range was Wi-Fi based uh, and now it's Bluetooth, which makes connecting very, very easy and quick, which is nice. It used to be kind of a pain uh, to do the whole Wi-Fi connection. So this is Bluetooth and the connection that I've tested so far was almost instant, which is a nice upgrade. The other thing that this printer has that's kind of strange is a motion sensor. Uh, so there's like different feature modes between just like standard printing and then like fun mode. And you can change the mode just by like going like this and then different things are highlighted in the app and you can, you can reprint a photo by turning it upside down and then pressing this button and that's how you reprint a photo. Um, previously they just had a reprint button. I think the sensor thing is kind of odd. It's strange, but that's a feature of this one is that it has a motion sensor. Okay, so let's talk about the app now because that is what you're going to be using um, when you are using this printer. So this is the app here. It is the Instax Mini Link app. 
as far as Instax apps go, it's definitely um, a little bit nicer. Sometimes they're not the best, but this one is pretty decent. You've got a lot of options here. You can see if I turn this down like this, it should be switching to fun mode, but it didn't. Yeah, didn't work. But like fun mode is just down here and then the regular mode is over here. So it's not like that's really that essential. Um, but I will show you if you go Instax camera, so this is the camera. And then if I do this, you can see it zooms in and out by tilting the printer, um, which is a strange feature. I think what they're trying to do here is make this like a printer that's fun for people to play with together, um, which is not usually what I look for in a printer, but you know, it works. So you can take a picture from here and then um, print it but that's, that's what the motion sensor does. Let's see, will this work? Yeah, it's, it's not switching into fun mode, but it, the zooming worked. So you've got a lot of things here. You've got simple print, which is just gonna print whatever you have recently. You have video print, which is kind of neat. Um, let me just pull up a video here for you. So here was a video of me doing another one of our our reviews and you can go through this and find just the right frame and then print it, which is pretty neat if you like to take videos and then you can go through and find whichever one you wanna print. So that's a neat feature. What else do we have here? So regular print, video print, the Instax camera, and then down here in fun mode, you have frames and collages, which are pretty standard these days for the Instax line. And then there's a, a couple things that are more of the like, the fun thing that I was talking about. So you have match test where you can like see your compatibility with a friend by uploading photos of each other and then taking compatibility question tests and then your results print on the photo. Um, which sounds a little cheesy, but at the same time, you know, that's, creative, a creative way to make a printer a little bit more fun. So it has that feature. And then it also has this party print feature. So when they said like five people can connect, I thought that meant five people could connect to this printer and then anyone could print from it. But that's not actually the case. Only one person can connect to the printer, but up to five people can kind of connect to that person's phone send pictures to that person's phone, and then you can create a collage with all of those photos that are sent to you, and then it will print. And there's like surprise mode where you can't see the pictures that your friends send you until it prints out. One of the fun things about instant film is like waiting for the photo to develop. And so I can see that what they're doing here is trying to like, to lean into that lean into the fun and like you're sitting there waiting to see what everyone sent you um, and hopefully your friends <laughs> didn't send you anything too strange or you're waiting to see if you're compatible with someone as it develops. So I, like, I get that, I get that. I'm not sure how often that will be used, but maybe I'm not the target market for that. And then there's like sketch, edit and print where you can like put your signature on things and like text on pictures and stuff. So that's all pretty standard. You can also see up here that it shows you the battery that's remaining and also how many photos that you have remaining. So one thing about this printer is it doesn't have any like indicator lights that show you how many pictures you have left, which previous versions did have. Uh, so you're gonna be looking to the app in order to do that. Then there's all sorts of like Bluetooth settings and sound settings and all sorts of stuff like that in here as well. So one thing that I'll say is that the instructions that come with the camp with the printer don't have any kind of help for the app. You really, your best bet is to kind of open it up, play around with it and get to know the app because that's how you control the printer. All right, now let's go through loading some film and we'll test a print and kind of, I'll show you how that all goes. So open up your film pack. 
Remember these, unless you're buying a bundle, this printer does not come with film. If you just get this box, there's no film included. So make sure that you're also picking up a pack of film. There'll be links to all this stuff below in the description. So make sure to check that out. Um, I'm usually trying to find like a double pack or more with this because you get a better price. So we open it up. You look for the yellow mark. Open this up on the back. And there's the other little tiny yellow mark. And you line them up and you close it. And then it just automatically is going to eject the dark slide for you, which just protects the film from any light. So that's nice. You don't have to remember to do that yourself. Just take that off. Now we're ready to print. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a simple print here. Just this nice shot of me in the studio. So we can edit, we can add text, we can add a filter. There's all sorts of features down here that you can play with. I'm just gonna print it. So you can either press this big red button or, and that's just one of those fun things, you can just, you're supposed to be able to slide it up and then this is supposed to print. And it's supposed to kind of, yeah, it, that wasn't as smooth, smooth as I thought it would be, um, but it is printing. So it did print pretty fast. And then you wait 90 seconds. You do not need to shake it. Uh, and that's it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I think that's pretty close to fully developed. We've been waiting a few minutes. Um, with instant film, you don't have as much dynamic range in the print as you would on your phone screen, so you can never expect it to look the same. Uh, but it has nice color. You know, it's a little bright, but that's typically what I find happens with these printers. Um, but yeah, nice little print. I do want to show you real quick um, what happens when you turn it on, because it's kind of kind of fun press that button and then you get this nice little like colorful LED situation going on. And then the different colors of the LED do signify different things. When the battery's charging, there's different colors. Um, when you're connecting, there's different colors. That's all in the manual so you can check that out. Uh, but the, the little LED is nice. One thing I am seeing is that it feels like the battery goes pretty fast on this. Um, you know, I had it charged up to 30% and now it's down to five and I've been using it for just a little while. So that's one thing to note, but you can like use it while it's plugged in. If you do think you're gonna use it for a while, that's a nice feature to have. Okay, so my honest thoughts on this printer, it's a little bit mixed. I think there's a lot of features in here that feel a little bit gimmicky to me, but I just might not be the market for that. I can see it being fun for a little while, but I do think you know, the stuff like the party collage or the compatibility test, you know, they might get tiring, like you might only do it a couple times and then you'd never do it again. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't be buying this for those things or the motion sensor stuff. None of that really felt like an essential feature to me. I do love these printers. Um, I have the older versions as well and I think they're great in terms of being able to get your photos off your phone and printed I really do find that I value printed photos so much these days because I do it so infrequently. And these kind of printers are often what I use. They're great for weddings. They're great for gatherings when you're allowed to do that. Um, so they are handy. Would I recommend an upgrade if you already have an Instax printer? If you're enjoying it, no, I don't think there's anything in here that's really that compelling. The Bluetooth connection is nice, it's very easy, but if you've gotten used to connecting to the other one and you don't have a problem with it, you know, keep on keeping on with that. If you don't have a printer at all from Instax um, and this whole kind of situation sounds appealing to you, you don't print your photos enough, you like the look of the instant film, then yeah, grab one because they're a lot of fun. They're a great way to get your photos printed and these are so fun to put everywhere on your wall, on your fridge, to put in a gift, like a card for someone, um, print out for your friend after you hang out. 
they really, really are fantastic. So that's my thoughts on it. It works well, some weird gimmicky stuff, but you know, they're trying to be creative and I appreciate that. One thing I will say before I finish is that you might want to consider the Instax Mini Lee Play instead. If you're thinking of spending 120 bucks on this, the Lee Play, which is both a camera and a printer together, sometimes has been as low as like 130 if you find some coupons. So I will link to that as well. Um, I did put that in a fuller comparison review, but it has a ton of features. You can connect to it from a smartphone and print from it. You can also put in like a little micro SD card. It has a ton of features. Um, so that is something worth looking at because then you kind of get both options together. All right, there's my review. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you print your photos very much? Is this something that might help you do that? Do you have one of these? Do you like having instant film prints around? I wanna hear from you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of great instant film reviews coming at you and a lot of great other products as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.